guys, what is up? It is Carl Plank with Plankins Networking, and today we're going to be showing you guys a fairly simple task to do, and depending on which environment you are applying this to, it is going to come in very handy. Now, today what we're going to be showing you guys how to do is how to allow remote desktop automatically so that you don't have to go to each and, in, in, each and every computer and enable this manually, because depending on if you're in a home, even if you're in a home environment nowadays or in an enterprise environment, you know, you, you you generally have more than two or three computers and going under each computer enabling enabling this can be kind of a hassle. So what we're going to be showing you guys today is how to enable that with group policy automatically. Now what this is going to do is going to make it so that your users on your network can connect to, your, to their work machines from home or your home users can connect to their home machines from school if they have to get a homework assignment or something like that. So what we're going to be showing you today is how to do that. So depending on where and who you want this to apply to, you're going to want to put your GPO in a different place than me. If you don't want everybody on your network to be able to, to have this uh, or every machine to have it enabled, like your servers and everything have it enabled, then you're not going to want to put it in the root directory. Now in our case, we don't care if it's enabled on our servers because we already have it enabled on most of our servers and our client machines anyway. So what we're going to be doing is applying this domain wide. So in our case we're going to be putting DW for domain wide underscore RDP. For those of you that don't know, RDP stands for Remote Desktop Protocol. And we're going to click OK and find our group policy in the right corner here, the left hand corner right here. And we're going to maximize this. Now we're going to go to User Configurations. Actually, sorry guys. It's going to be under Computer Configuration. Then we're going to go under administrative templates, then we're going to go under Windows components, and then we are going to go under our remote desktop settings. So what we're going to be looking for in here is remote desktop services. As you can see, it is right here. And then we're going to want to go to remote desktop session host. And once you're under here, you're going to want to go to connections. And then after connections, we are going to look for allow or restrict remote desktop now uh, I can't remember what the exact name of it is but we will find it okay first of all limiting the number of connections now some of you may want to do this some of you may not want to do this now in our case we are gonna do this we're gonna uh, limit it to 8 and we're gonna click apply and click OK now we just need to find remote desktop okay and sorry you guys it was pretty obvious <laughs> obvious where it was so we're gonna click on allow users to connect remotely using remote desktop services now we're gonna click apply here I mean enable here and click apply there that is all for today's video you guys if you like the video then make sure to share it with your friends comment below give it a, a thumbs up uh, also, another way you can help us support us is by checking out our website, liking our Facebook page, or honestly just sharing your videos with our videos with your friends. Uh, whatever you guys can do to help us get found on the internet would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.